Hello Willing Hand, this is Abigail here again, also known as Two Willing Hands and in this tutorial, in this video, I'm going to be showing you all how to do single crochet, double crochet and half double crochet and I might show you a bonus of treble crochet. So this will be a up, an updated tutorial on how to do the basic stitches in crocheting. So let's not waste no time and let's get straight into it. So first you want to start off with a slip knot. Bring the first loop over the second, bring the second loop over the first and there you have your knot. Insert the hook inside the hole. And this is your working yarn, this is your tail. You want to feed the working yarn behind your little finger, in between the little finger and the fourth one, behind the index, and now in between the thumb and index finger. Your middle finger and your thumb should hold the knot. Okay? So now we're going to start with a single crochet, and we're going to do a chain of 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is um, a DK weight yarn, double knit. I'm using a size four. Sorry about that. <clears throat> I was getting a little bit of a cramp on my leg. I needed to be seated properly. So now, in the second chain from the hook, one, two, do a single crochet. So you're going to insert, yarn over, pull through. That's now two. Yarn over, pull through, two. You want to repeat that. Insert, yarn over. Yarn over, pull through two. Insert, yarn over, yarn over, pull through two. So that is how you do a single crochet. Okay, that is how you do it. Not sure why I'm struggling today. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit it is a bit tight, but that's fine. Okay, so that was my, now this one's my last one right here, it's very tight. I'm going to ignore that one, I'm just going to tighten it. Chain one, turn your back, into the first stitch, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Insert, yarn over, yarn over, pull through two. And you want to repeat that all the way to the end of this row. So remember we are doing single crochets, okay? Single crochet.
and I'm right at the end so try not to miss the end so I'm at the end going to go straight through both of those loops there we go and that's the end okay so you're going to repeat that I'm going to do a few more rows and then I'll be back with you so just keep doing that until you've reached your desired amount okay so I have done a few more rows and this is how it looks okay this is single crochet very pretty so now I'm going to show you how to do half double crochet and once again we're going to start with one chain and what I find with chaining one I just like how it looks the traditional way of doing it is starting off with a chain of two and for the double crochet the traditional traditional way would be starting off with a chain of three or well, three chains but I like to do a just one chain so in the same stitch you want to chain one yarn over in the same stitch insert And over pull through yarn over pull through three yarn over insert yarn over yarn over pull through three yarn over insert yarn over yarn over pull through three okay so that is what you're going to do all the way to the end Chain one, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three, and it will have a slight curve. So, whenever you are making something, uh, let's just say a scarf, the last row you want to ensure you actually do two chains so that way it doesn't have a curve but rather has a like a rectangle type edge. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, yarn over, proof for three. Okay. Okay, this is the top, so you want to go into the top of the stitch, you don't want to go into the chain one. So the top of the half double crochet is where we want to go into. Okay, chain one again, and you're going to repeat that for every single row. So I'm going to do a few more rows, and then we're going to have a look at the difference between single crochet and half double crochet. So can you see the contrast between, I keep saying contrast, but you know what I mean. Can you see the difference <laughs> between half double crochet and the single crochet? It looks a little bit similar, but there is a difference. If you look at the back, you can see the difference. It's a little bit, it's quite similar, but there is a difference. So now I'm going to show you the last one, which is Double crochet, chain one, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, 
Yanova pull for two. Yanova, insert. Yanova pull through. Yanova pull through two. And Yanova pull through two. So you want to repeat that all the way to the end of the row. Insert. So that's a single crochet and another single crochet. So it's just two single crochets, one on top of the other. Oops. And as you can see, the double crochet is much taller. Chain one and repeat. I don't know if you can hear the noise, but I, I had to apologize. I got quite noisy neighbors, it's just the one they're very, they're quite noisy. Yeah, <laughs> yarn over, insert, yarn over one, two, three. Should always be three. And over pull for two and again. You know, sometimes it's like they're walking on top of my head. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. I'm sure we all have um those of us that lived in houses with another house on top. I'm sure we all have funny stories of when you thought someone was in your house. Oh god. Okay, I'm going to do a few more. So can you see the difference there as well? I'm going to do a few more rows and we shall see how everything looks. So I have completed a few more rows and oh, these two just started to came out, but it's alright. As you can see, we got a difference. So this section right here is single crochet. This section right here is half double crochet, and then this section is double. Okay, so if you enjoyed this tutorial, feel free to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends as well. Share it with your family. You know, crocheting is a beautiful skill to have if you have any tutorial suggestions for me feel free to leave a comment down below and I will respond I do try my best to respond to um, all messages you know I endeavor to do so so I hope you all have a wonderful day thank you for watching until next time bye now